What's good, everybody? And we're back. And yes, today we're going to be doing chaos coaching and we're going to focus on offense and defense, but mainly we're going to be focusing on offense today because we actually were able to finish 12th in weekend league this past week. And it was probably our best weekend league of the year. We got 23 wins, one of which was a disconnect before the game even started. So was very happy about the one true loss that we had was actually uploaded and I'll put it in the cards again. Not sure which corner, but the top right hand corner will have it. So if you want to check that out, feel free. It was one of the best games I've ever been a part of in any Madden ever. But back to the back to the chaos coaching. So we're gonna be talking about the offense mainly today. We will talk about both, but I want to talk about our gun bunch. We've been in it for a while. This is probably the most comfortable I've felt in it. And I'm gonna be talking about what I see from the defense and then why we're doing what we're doing. That's what chaos coaching is. And we will talk about the lineup because I think lineup's pretty important abilities as well. Then we'll jump into the game. So here's the lineup. This is actually the same lineup that we used in weekend league last week. We didn't change it at all. And again, I'm talking about last weekend's weekend league, not I know we're uploading this late in the week, but we're not talking about this current weekend league. We're talking about last week. For our abilities, we have mid and elite and short and elite on Sterling Sharp. That's going to be the middle bunch receiver that we have. Aaron Rodgers, Hot Rod Master, Gunslinger, Escape Artist, which is what I recommend. If you have a golden ticket QB, this is what I recommend. Most of them can get those three for six AP. There's some that can't. It might be seven or eight. But if you can get those three for relatively cheap AP and fit the rest of the ones that you want in, I highly recommend that. Randy Moss, uh, Playmaker. We play Randy Moss in the ISO uh, wide receiver spot. And then Julio Jones with mid and elite at the outside bunch receiver spot. So that's our abilities um, for offense. Now defense, the roster has been pretty similar. To, it hasn't changed too much over these past few weeks. I've really liked our team. I've liked the way our abilities. I don't think I've changed the abilities that I've used in a very long time, but I will show them here. We're basically just using a bunch of acrobats and then we do have two lurkers. So Ryan Shazier and Patrick Willis have lurker. That's to allow me to be able to play nickel 335 Y. 146 and big nickel over G allows us to have all that personnel. They will be the outside linebackers in nickel 335 Y when I go to that, if I go to that in that given game. Otherwise, they actually don't uh, play very much, if at all. But we have Acrobat on Deion Sanders, Acrobat on Namdi Asamoah, Acrobat on Sean Taylor, Darius Slade Jr. is the only one that has Acrobat and mid zone KO. And then Taylor Mays, we have Acrobat. And Sean Taylor and Taylor Mays are typically our users in any offense that we're using now if we're in nickel 335 y then we only have the one middle linebacker that we're using and then we'll drop one of them to the safety spot but in big nickel over g and 146 there are middle linebackers so that's the team offense we uh the seahawks offense i wanted to talk about that's what we're going to mainly be focusing on during this chaos coaching i did drop an ebook on hot route tips for this seahawks offense it really just focuses on the gun bunch uh we talk about a little bit of audibling but not much it's really just the gun bunch and we have a 40% off code right now, code bunch on Hot Route Tips. It's available on anything other than yearly subscriptions, so the annual subscriptions. Everything else, monthly membership, individual ebook purchases, you can use code bunch for 40% off. So if you're interested in that, feel free. If not, that's cool too. I just want to let you all know that we're in the Giants defense. That is it for the team. Let's jump into the game. All right, here we go with this one. We're going to be in our opponent's Super Bowl for it. Here we go. And we're gonna be starting with the ball in this one. We did set our settings to receive, but I don't recommend that. What I recommend is actually setting your uh, settings for your first option on the coin toss to kick. I don't recommend doing receive, but in offensive game plays, which is what I'm tending to focus on in this one, I like to do receive, because I wanna start with the ball, right? Because that's what we're talking about. Now you see me doing subs there. I already did subs and, uh, well, I didn't do any subs to start. But we did audibles to start. That's really important in my opinion. And we ran the ball on first down to get to a hash mark. Now we're on a hash mark. Now we're where we want to be. And now we're ready to pass the ball. Let's see if it works out. I think they're actually going to probably be in man coverage here. We'll see. No, it's a blitz. It's a blitz. Oh, thank you. I think if we racked that, we might have had a touchdown. It actually did. It was man coverage. I was right about that. The reason why I'm guessing that's what it is, is because they have so many uh, players in the box. There's not really any high safety, not a one, uh, like middle safety or not a double, uh, like too high safety. I don't see either one. They're, they look like it's man coverage. So... That's what we're doing. We have Julio. We have Julio. Did we actually have him? I don't know. That might have been super duper lucky because the defender was, I think they have Acrobat, dove at it, didn't get it. We'll take the touchdown. Just to finish up what we were talking about on offense a little bit. Oh, no. They, that, I, oh, no. I thought we had him in the, I thought we had them in the backfield. Oh, no. We're going to be right back on. Oh, we're going to be, oh, thank you for making that tackle. Just, I just wanted to finish up what we were talking about on. Oh, meanwhile, they're going on a 69 yard run. 
But all I wanted to say was essentially, that's how we got in the backfield, thank you. But if they don't have any high safeties, right? There's not a single high meaning like a cover three or a cover one or a two high safety meaning like a cover two or even a two man under. I'm just gonna assume it's man coverage and they typically will end up being a cover zero blitz like it was uh, when our opponent was on defense because they had no high safety. So they're not any, they don't have anybody dropping to a deep zone when they're doing that because they're not gonna be able to get back there in time most likely. So that's just kind of an assumption that I made going into the play, it ended up being correct and we were able to get a post open for a touchdown. I'm playing run here, but if they end up passing the ball, I'm just gonna sprint straight to the right. Okay, it's a it's a run. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I said I'm playing run, we give up a touchdown. But you know what? Forget that, put it to the side. This is an offensive mainly gameplay. I'm gonna try to break down some defense, but we're mainly talking about offense. Let's get back on offense. Now we're not on a hash mark here, so I'm gonna let people that have seen my videos many a time, I'm gonna let y'all guess what we're gonna do right here. I'll wait, I'll wait. Go ahead, if you wanna comment it, feel free to guess what we're about to do right here. That's right, we're running the ball because we're not on a hash, but now, now we're on a hash, now we're gonna pass. Now based on their previous play, which we can see in the bottom right hand corner here, because it's not all Madden, it's just Mutt, uh, all, which is all pro if you're not in the all Madden section. We can see they're still in that cover zero. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a couple man meeting routes out there. Corner routes, post routes, um, and then we have our playmaker with Randy Moss. So whichever one they don't use her. We got Waller, we got Waller, let's go! Oh, what a click off, what a click off! Yeah, so if you have fast tight ends, it's gonna be a real luxury for you because you're able to, there's another person that can beat man coverage for you, right? Ideally, you have as many players on the field that can do so. So if your tight end's really fast, that's just an extra player that you have. Now, we're going with posts and drags here. We're going with posts and drags. We're looking for either one that they're not using. We got the playmaker back. Playmaker back to Randy. Let's go. Looking for that same setup here. We're looking for the tight end. Waller, Waller, Aaron Rodgers. That's why we have Aaron Rodgers. I know this is really just talking about the offensive side of the ball, but this is important for the offensive side of the ball. Aaron Rodgers, if you like to throw the ball from the pocket, if you like to throw the ball with set feet, Aaron Rodgers is the QB for you because golden ticket, right? So you can get all those abilities for the less AP, right? For two AP for just escape artist, gunslinger, and hot rod master, two each. You get those abilities. And then on top of that, you also have the quick release. Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre have that slinger one, I believe it's slinger one release. I'll show it here so I make sure I'm right. Uh, Cause I, it's slinger one, I believe. And that release is faster than any in the game when their feet set. Now, if they're rolling out and passing, like on the run, it will be a little bit slower. So keep that in mind. But if you throw, if you're throwing the ball from the pocket a lot, it doesn't really matter what you're throwing the run looks like as much because you're gonna be rarely doing it. So if you like to throw the ball on the run, I'd probably recommend RG3 as the top QB. Oh no, we didn't get out there. Oh no, all right, we gotta start. We, I'm trying to talk about offense and every time I do it, they just break a big run. But what I'm saying is, if you like to throw on the run a lot, RG3 is probably a little bit better faster and also gonna be a faster throw on the run release. Just saying. Let me stop talking about offense for a little bit though, because we are just getting toted on in this game, right? They're just breaking big run after a big run. Let's try to stop the run. Oh, my lurk. Yo, oh, wow, Taylor Mays. Well, the lurk wasn't great by me, right? I kind of circled it. And we might have been able to get there with our user, but it works out even better because he Mays makes the play. I have absolutely loved having Taylor Mays. Oh, that's a laser. That's a laser. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, good tackle. I have absolutely loved having Taylor Mays and Sean Taylor at linebacker. I think they're the best safeties at linebacker in the entire game. If you're using them, they're very fast, they're tall, they jump high. Sean Taylor has so super high change of direction. I'm not sure if Taylor Mays is quite as high. Great tackle right there. That's Taylor Mays making a play. I'm just talking about him. I'm just talking about Mays right now. And there's the play. What I was saying though was I think Taylor Mays, oh, what a dot again. I was saying, I think Taylor Mays might not have high change of direction stats, but I never really feel too much of a difference when I'm using I feel like Taylor Mays does great. Laser, okay, all right, all right, all right. Here's the deal. Here is the deal, all right? We just got lasered like the entire drive and we got ran off. We can't, we can't give up both. The alignment on the defense has changed here so I no longer think it's that cover zero. And normally I would run the ball here but with under two minutes, I feel like we have to pass. 
to try to, to try to get, oh, let's go, Camara. Oh, Camara, Camara. Oh, I, I probably should have got out of bounds. I probably should have. I'm gonna take a timeout. I was just gonna say we're past the ball there, and it actually was the cover zero again. I felt like that looked a little different, but I don't know. With it being under two minutes, you want to move the ball as quickly as possible. You don't want to let the clock run on a uh, on a run play. So you just want to try to get the ball out there. And it, even though the pass plays not might not work exactly the same, they should work well enough. And we have the, we have the corner route to Sterling Sharp. We have the corner route. Oh, I was trying to see if he, you know, you know, run him into him like this and, and, and fight and fight. We didn't get in. Down in the red zone. I, oh, that was a read option. I should have kept it. I, oh, on the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Down in the red zone, I recommend just running the ball. It's a lot easier, I feel like, than passing the ball down here. So keep Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. We got to stop the run. We got to stop the run, and that's not stopping it. That's not stopping it. That's not stopping it. We can't let them get to the outside, Kent. We can't let them get to the outside. What are we doing? I feel like this has been a repetitive game. We get dotted. We get ran on. We get ran on. We get dotted. We got to stop something. Laser, laser, laser. I can't stop it. I can't stop it. I'm ready to bounce back to this left post. That's what they've been throwing over there. Let's go. See right there, I was gonna say, this entire half, what we've really struggled with, right? Our main thing has been, we have a defense where we stop the run, but then when we've done that, they've gone to the pass and they've had success with it. And then when we go to the defense where we can stop the pass, they've ran the ball, right? So right there, I was in the pass defense, but I was ready to jump back to that, whatever, it's a deep post or an in, whatever the case may be, I was ready to jump back to that because that's what they've thrown. That's what they've had success with, right? And we have 20 seconds. Normally, I would say just clock this out, right? Take this to halftime. We're on the ones. We can get tackled in the backfield, and that wouldn't be great. Just throw it away. That could have easily have been intentional grinding. I don't like the spot we're in right here. I really don't because I don't want to run the ball. If you run the ball and lose yards, it's a safety. And obviously, if we got intentional grinding right there, it could have easily have been a safety, but... Right here, we need, to we need to figure out some type of pass that can get open quick and we can get the ball out without an interception and without a safety. Let's see if we can do it. Looking for the running back. Yes, okay. I mean, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter whether we got a ton of yards right there. I just wanted to get away from that uh, goal line. Now, we only have 13 seconds here. I'm not going to I'm not gonna do anything crazy. We're just going to run the ball. We're just going to run the ball, see if we can break one. Doesn't matter. We'll take it to halftime, right? Now they called timeout. I probably should have. I probably should have taken into account that they had a timeout. That's on me. That's on me. I, they, ah, mistakes. Mistakes happen, right? Mistakes happen. This is chaos coaching. Sometimes I'm trying to teach you all something. Maybe you know it. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But sometimes you gotta teach Kent something. And Kent just learned if they got a timeout, don't run the ball and give them time to break a punt return or something. I probably should have punted it out of bounds too. But hey, we're going to halftime. It didn't hurt us right there on the scoreboard. We need to stop. We're going to aim to stop the run and the pass out of the same setup this time. So we have a blitz going. Oh, laser. Oh, <laughs> I just haven't been able to do it. I haven't been able to do it. I have not been able to stop the run and the pass out of the same out of the same look. Sorry, I've been in the same formation the whole game. I don't, don't disregard what I was saying right there. But out of the same look, because they have the option to pass and run. They have audibles. So it's not like I can just guess what they're going to do on a given down. If they want to audible, they can audible. But right there, we didn't stop the pass. We did the same look, and we didn't stop the run. So we're struggling. We're not doing great at, at, at stopping anything right now. We got to figure something out. We're just going to we're, we're gonna try to shoot the gap one more time here. Hopefully, we get back there. And yeah, they are essentially walking into the end zone right there. We're only up seven. We need a score right here. We have to answer back. Now they've stuck in this cover zero. So I expect them to be in it again here. We got our tight end. We're just gonna rack it up the field. So it looked like the man coverage that was on the tight end was actually on the crossed up safety. So the opposite safety, I should say. And again, we're just making our subs, keeping our players in the right personnel spots. That's really important in my opinion is keeping the players that you want in each spot in the right spot. So we want our playmaker on the ISO receiver. We can't have them subbed in on the outside bunch side. You know what I mean? So again, this looks different than the cover zero. I don't expect it to be that, but it is. I don't know. Playmaker back. Let's go, Randy. Let's go, Randy. Let's go, baby. Come on, one player to beat. Oh, I had it to the right, to the right. Now what I'm doing right here is just going back and forth. I don't know if you saw Randy Moss was in the yellow. Now they're to the light blue. Now you don't have to go back and forth right here. What I'm just doing is going back and forth as many times as I can until I see that they're back to the the full like stamina blue and when you switch the formations that's when you when it updates so that's the only reason why i'm switching really fast we have the tight end again this cross uh crossed up from the opposite safety but going back and forth is just showing it updating right so let me see here 
right there. When you do that move, that updates it. And that can tell you, okay, they're they're fully stamina, right? You don't want to wait in the huddle to like a random time and then come out and not sh be sure where they're at. So that's why I'm going back and forth. It's not to do anything outside of that. Go Camara, go Camara. Ah, we'll take it. And I hope what I'm saying makes sense. I tend to ramble in these videos. So I hope what I'm saying is making sense with as far as the going the back, like back and forth. Low pass. Oh, that was dangerous. That was dangerous. If what I was saying doesn't make sense, feel free to ask me to clarify in the comments. Section Randy Moss, playmaker into the end zone. And that's why we use a wide receiver playmaker to beat man coverage. That's what it's mainly for. Man coverage can be really good in this game. And that's something that you can pretty much rely on consistently to beat man coverage for you. That wide receiver playmaker, or I mean, if you have QB playmaker, it works too. I'm just saying I only use it on the one player. That can be really helpful. That's why we were able to score in that red zone right there. We'll take it. Now, if we don't find a way to stop the run and the pass out of this formation, we're going to struggle because we haven't been able to stop both yet. Like we've stopped the run in the backfield some, right? But then they've, when we've done that, they've gone to the pass and they've dotted us. And then vice versa, when we've stopped the pass, they've ran us. They have like 200 yards rushing. So we haven't, now they're under 200 right there just because of the, that tackle on the backfield. But hey, they can break a 70 yard on the next run and they're back over 200 again. So we have to be able to stop both. Now I'm playing full pass here because they're on a third and 19. If they run the ball, that's okay. And hopefully we can contain it for less than 20 yards, right? So they don't get a first down on it. So we'll see. And they're going to run it. And Shant, oh, they almost super duper juked me right there. But that's what we wanted, right? If they ran the ball, they only got eight. Fourth and 11. This is a big part of the game. If we can get to stop right here, we're in complete full control. And again, I'm going to, I'm going to play pass and hope they don't get 11 yards. That's what we're hoping for. I'm lurking back to that left spot where we got the pick before. Dot, laser, steamer, laser. I was racking my mind right there just trying to think of another word. Or a dot. I had dot. I had laser. I had steamer. I couldn't think of another one. Here we go. Third and 18. This is a huge spot. If they run the ball, we have to contain it. They're passing. Lurk back on that post. Oh, I thought I thought they were throwing it to me instead of to throw out a sack, essentially. And T Mays making another play. And T Mays has just gone crazy in this game. They've gone crazy. They've gone crazy. And the funny thing is, I wasn't even using Taylor Mays. Taylor Mays is just making the play himself on both their, uh, both of his interceptions in this game. I didn't, I wasn't usering them. I don't think I even clicked on him on those interceptions, right? So Taylor Mays is just an awesome player and it made great plays. That's, that's all I can say. But we're going to uh, try to clock this one out here. And we're going to play another game. We pretty much saw uh, the majority cover zero in that game. So it's not really too much to describe outside of just me trying to break down how to beat um, man coverage. But hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get a different look next game and we'll go from there. So that's actually going to do it. Great game to our opponent. We're on to game two. All right, here we go with this one. And we're actually in another one of our opponent's Super Bowls. Here we go. And we're starting on O again in this one, likely because we set our settings to receive. And when I have the option where it's not like way far back in the end zone or even kicked out of the back of the end zone, I try to bring it out just so we can get to a hash mark and I don't have feel the need to run the ball on first down. This looks like it's man coverage again. I was wrong, it's zone, it's zone. I was completely wrong. What I was talking about before is that, you know, I didn't see any high safeties, but they likely moved their safeties into their correct spot or not in the correct spots into the box zone. So that's why they weren't down there. But you see here, two high safeties, so it's likely not a cover zero. That, that's one thing I can say almost for certain. It's not going to be a cover zero. Now, it could be a cover two. It could even be a cover three in disguise. But I'm pretty sure it's not a cover two, and it is a cover three. You saw it there. They actually had two flat zones moving outside. It's actually a cover three cloud, if you see on the bottom right there. But yeah, so they had a cover three look, and they had the two zones running out to the left. So that means they had uh, like a sh shallow flat and then like a deeper flat out there. They're going to their coach adjustments and setting one deeper and one more shallow. Oh no, they just super blitzed us right there. So they've given us a couple of different looks here. I'm gonna assume they're gonna run that cover zero again. They just moved the player down into the box to blitz. We're blocking the running back and we're looking for our out route or in route and they, okay. All right, so they're, they're user rushing with them. They're user rushing, noted, definitely noted. That means they're gonna, they're gonna come in pretty fast. So we need a quick, man beating route what is it going to be we're going to do a motion slant motion slants pretty fast and even if they use a rush down there we should be able to get the pass off before they get across so okay well we'll take our flat 
They didn't use a rush that time. They're mixing up their defense. That's good defense. So here's what we got going on right here. If they use a rushes, we have a quick read to our shallow post, which they did. And that's what you want, right? So you want to have two options on a given play. If they are like going to send a ton of people at you, seven, even eight people if they're user rushing, you, I feel like you need a quick read out there. It could be a slant. It could be a short, like hot route, like hot route master post. It could be anything, but you also need to plan for if they play coverage, like they were in that cover three early on in the game. They're doing it again. We're able to get the ball out quick. That's also Aaron Rodgers release, right? That's Aaron Rodgers having a very quick release. Sorry, lost train of thought there. What I was going to say was you need a quick route. If they send the seven or eight, you have the quick pass, right? Which is what we did with the skinny, uh, the short post both times, but they played some cover three that drive. They played some zone. So when they play that zone, you need reads out there for beating the coverage that might not be an instant like snap throw. So we had some other routes out there that we could be later developing. So you need both. I feel like you need both. And I might as well show you what I do. This is what I typically do to start a game. 25 curl flats, leave these on default, option defense conservative. But just want to note a couple of things for you there. Essentially, being able to attack both is just having the routes out there for that. Having a couple hot reads. Hot reads is what I call uh, reads that you can make. I'm acting like I made that up. I don't know where I heard it, but I definitely didn't make that hot reads. But having a couple routes in the play that if they blitz you, you can throw. And then also some routes out there that can be coverage if they because you know people can send two in this game. That happens a lot. I do it from time to time. But if they have nine people in coverage out there, you need a couple of routes that might take a little bit longer to get open. So this, this is something I wanted to know right there. Now get let's get back to defense. Third and 16. Big play coming up. Running straight to the right here with my lurk. That's my responsibility. I didn't run fast enough. Didn't run fast enough, clearly. Clearly, and then we missed the dive. Shanti missed another dive. We're not gonna get there on this one either. And yeah, that's how you, yeah, that's how you say you're gonna do something and then not do it very well, right? I said I was gonna run straight to the right, which I did, but then the route was still wide open. Now they're out of that formation that they were user rushing out of. So now we have to prepare for that, right? It, now I was saying before how we had to prepare for both. When they leave that formation, they're no longer bringing that player down threatening the the user rush outside we don't have to worry about that so right there we just called whatever play we wanted for zone and now we're gonna try to break down what zone they're in we have our table route that looked like a cover three with only one flat on the right so that means we, if we can flood that side of the field make the either the shallow flat if it's a shallow flat take the deeper route if it's a deeper uh, route take the shallow one so we're looking for b right here because ideally they're gonna have a hard flat they didn't i made the wrong read <laughs> we're, we're gonna scramble <laughs> I didn't make the right read. I'm talking about the before the play. You know, breaking it down, trying to act like, ooh, if they do this, we're going to do that type thing. It didn't happen. They have one flat there on the on the outside ISO side. So if it's deep, we need to throw the shallow route. If it's shallow, we throw the deeper route. They've been in cover three the majority of this drive. That's what I'm expecting here. Ooh, it was not cover three. I don't think that looked like cover four. I, you know what? I've been saying they're in cover three. They've actually been in cover four, I think, most of this drive. What am I talking about? That was cover two, though. But that was cover two with super deep flat zones because you saw that the out route was wide open deep there. So I'm going to go back to the, the flood concept where if they have a deeper flat, oh, they, they blitzed. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I know exactly what they're doing because I don't. But right there, uh, they blitzed it looked like, but then a player bounced out to the running back. So we're going to see if they do that again. They didn't this time. That was just a heavy blitz and we'll take the running back. Maybe that was just a bounce out from the D lineman. I don't know. I don't have all the answers, but I try to break down what I can. They're in a cover four. They only called the cover two the one play. And when they did, it was super deep zone drop flats. So I'm tr still trying to evaluate what they're doing. But if they are in cover, um, that cover four again, we should have our out route or our corner route on the outside right here. We'll look for one of them. We've got our corner route and Aaron Rodgers with a great pass. So basically what we've been trying to do against this cover four is just put two routes on their flat side because they've only had one flat. And we've got the, we've got the slant there. If they only have one flat on the side, which I believe on both sides, they've only had one flat most of the time. Uh, you're going to be able to have some success if you can put a shallow route. Like right there, we had a, a flat route and a slant. That's a shallow and a deeper route. Whichever one the flat's not playing, shallow, you throw the over top slant. If it's deeper, you can throw the underneath flat. And right there, we kind of had both of them because it was kind of playing in between. and It didn't really get to the outside very well. But that's just kind of the breakdown that I'm having. Same thing with the corner route that we threw. The flat went shallow. We threw the uh the corner route so that's just i'm trying to break down everything is with what i'm doing what i'm thinking and hopefully what i'm saying makes sense because i i do my best not everything i get in ramble mode in these videos but if i if, if i'm ever not making any sense feel free to comment a question i try to answer them as best i can now the red zone can be super difficult i have no idea what i what they're going to do we probably missed our drag re right there just gonna slide 
passing the ball down here can be really tough, which is why in the beginning of the first game, I said, when you're down here, I recommend just running the ball. I think it was in the beginning of the last game. I said it at some point. Running the ball, easiest thing down here. I'm going to try to pass because we it was basically a first and goal from the 10 essentially it was it was first until we can technically get a first down but it's gonna be really tough to do that so i did feel like it was a little far but first option should always be the running ball down here that's that's my first option i think we're gonna have a running back come here run. it's set under pressure and accurate it looked like that could have been way out of there and maybe gotten a pick no seam streaks this drive ken no seam streaks oh i thought they were throwing it to me I think every game I play, anytime anyone passes the ball, and I'm in the vicinity of a receiver, I just think they're throwing it at me. I don't know why, but I do think that. And I'm almost always wrong. But I'm watching for that seam streak to the right. That's what we're watching for with Team Mays. Oh, I thought it again. Oh, no. Namdi. Namdi. Oh, it's a first down. Honestly, though, that's still a great play from Namdi because that could have been a touchdown. It really could have. Sprinting at that running back. Oh, it was a screen. This formation, I'm telling you, has almost always given me trouble. I'm always trying to lurk the like the swing passes and stuff, and it gets me so far out of position. I'm all the way on the right side of the field, right? And they're running a slip screen. I'm not even near it. What I'm really hoping for in this situation is that our opponent makes a mistake, right? Because they're already in field goal range. Nice knockout. I was going to say they're already in field goal range. So if we stop them, they get a field goal if they want it. Like they can take the field goal right now. But I'm hoping they either throw an interception, maybe they'll go for it right here and we'll stop them. Or if they got the first down, the clock, and they had to use their last time out, and they let the clock run out on another play. Anything like that, that's what we're hoping for down here. But they're going to go for it. So that, this is kind of what we're hoping for, but we're obviously hoping they get a stop. Like, we're not hoping... <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not... I'm, I'm calling time out because I'm, I'm, I'm all messed up right here. I'm all messed up. We want them to go for it. Oh, wow, they're kicking the field goal now. That's, see, that's on me. That's, that's on me for not getting my defense set up. But I'll finish what I was going to say. We want them to go for it. But we don't want them to get it, right? Because if they get it, then they might get a touchdown. But that's okay. 14-10. This is going to be their ball at halftime. We need to stop. And we go from there. This is a huge drive out of halftime right here. This can change. Oh, what a read. I was all the way back there, too. This can change the whole game. If they get seven, they're in complete control, right? They're up. And they have a chance to get a stop to put them in a great position to go up two possessions. But if we get a stop, then we have the chance to go up two possessions. Dot again, dot again, dot again. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We are in, oh, we are in tough territory right here. We're having trouble stopping this stuff. The bubble screens, the runs in general, and then they've dotted us too. They've done it all. Biggest play of the game so far, third and 10. We have a chance at a stop. I couldn't get back there again. Oh, we are just getting absolutely lasered. Lay to the zerg. What I've been trying to do is essentially take away the, the swing bell. Oh, oh, somebody, 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 somebody. Somebody pick it. Oh, 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 that was the greatest play ever. But all I was going to say was I've been trying to take away that swing route by just uh, man coveraging with one, one of our linebackers on it. And I think that's been doing a pretty good job and then trying to worry about the rest of the stuff. But we haven't been using the rest of the stuff. That's been the problem. So we've been man coveraging here. So they, they, they swing the left one that's from the ISO side. So we've been man coveraging right there. And then we've been trying to lurk the rest of the stuff. I'm trying to lurk one of these slants. I If they didn't highball that, that was probably a touchdown. I was trying to put a yellow from the safety. That's what we need to do. We're going to go to our coach adjustments. I'm assuming they're going for this here. But if, if they don't, that's fine. I'm going to put my hooks on five. We're going to have a safety on that yellow to take away that slant. And then we're going to lurk the other one. I hope they call that play again because I want to be able to show this to you. They called a different formation, so we can't do that. But we have our yellows out there. We have our flats, Dean. Our Sanders making the play. Let's go. Got to be ready if they use a rush right here. They didn't. We have the running back. We just were in that same spot as before where we don't really want to run the ball because if they are able to shoot the gap, they can get us in the backfield for, for a safety. So I like passing the ball down there. But obviously, if you get sacked too, it's also going to be a safety. So it's not a great spot either way. But I prefer to pass the ball. I think it's a little bit easier to have control over it. And playmaker back. Ooh, we have A. We didn't playmaker back. But we have A. Darren Waller. And that's what I was talking about in the first game. Having a tight end that's viable that you can put on post routes or even stock post routes and crossing routes that can beat man coverage with high speed is such a big thing when you're going against man coverage. And that's Darren Waller making a play right there. They're coming out in a wildcat now, which is something that's given me trouble in years past, both this year and last year. So 
They can break a run at any time. We have to be ready to stop whatever they go to, whether they, they run to the right, like they can hand it off to the motion player. They can keep and run left. They can just keep running to the right with George like they're doing there. They can do a lot of different things. We're going to have to figure something out to be able to stop all of their options at the run. They ran it back left. See? See, I, there's so many options. There's so many options. Left, right, handoff. We got to stop them all. Yes. All right. We stopped at that time. We stopped at that time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bubble screens. These bubble screens. I'm, I don't know what it is about bubble screens, but they just gave me so much trouble. But I, I'm ready for it this time. We have our hard flat running out there. I can run out to the left, and now they can hand off. I, I, I just have a lot of trouble stopping bubble screens. I don't know what it is. If they pass, I'm running straight to the left right here. Oh, without route. I, I mean, I, I can't just warp to the sideline like that. That's a laser. I can't do anything about that. Oh, nice dot. Ah, okay. Fourth down. And it's not for the game, but it is a pretty, pretty big spot. I'm lurking left, okay? I am lurking completely to the left. Yes! Yes, yes! I'm going to assume that was a high pass because if it wasn't, that was open. So we will take it. It's not the game. We have a minute 36 to clock here. We'll run the ball on the first two downs, and then we'll evaluate from there. But I'll say right now, even before those two runs, the right play is probably just run the ball three times. And if you didn't get the first down, punt. Because they still need two scores. So they're going to be out of timeouts, assuming you run all three times. And uh, they're going to have to get an onside kick. So I would not recommend passing the ball on that third down. And we're just going to run the ball and, clock, and try to clock this out. We'll see We'll see if we can get the first down. And we were able to get the first down. So that is actually going to do it. We're just going to kneel this one out right here great game to both of our opponents in this one i hope you all enjoyed the video and i hope i was able to teach you all something i know i ramble a lot in these videos so i do apologize for that but if you did enjoy the video please remember to like comment subscribe only if you want to i love you all take it easy peace please stay tuned we actually have a very special one planned for the next video so i hope to see you all in the next one